Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, in the past we have discussed many different topics on this channel. Um, today I want to talk about an old topic but in a different way. Um, we want to talk about what is thinking? What is this business of thinking? Not what we think, how to come up with an answer of something, what is it that we are thinking about? No, what is that uh, thinking? Not how thinking started, what, why a human being started thinking, and the thinking process in relation to consciousness and all. No, what is thinking? Not how to get an answer. You see, um, different people, um, depending on what it is that they want to figure out, uh, think in different ways. For example, an engineer thinks about the engineering stuff uh, to figure out things. A lawyer thinks about the legal stuff to figure out things. An athlete thinks about the performances and um, different techniques and so on for what it is that uh, he or she is uh, um, um, active in or you know, um, involved in. Um, there is a difference between figuring out things and the actual thinking. And we want to talk about the source, the roots of uh, thinking. Uh, what is its process? What does it mean? You see, when something is familiar to you, uh, there is no process of thinking. There's no thinking involved in there. For example, if you're in a farm and someone asks you, what is that? And you can quickly say, it's a horse. You see a bunch of animals and you can quickly figure out what it is. There's no process of thinking because you're familiar with that. You know that. There's no figuring out. Figuring out. If you ask an athlete, what is the best way, how is the best way to um, you know, hit a good uh, forehand in tennis? Um, that's a different story. Then he has to go into it, figure it out, and you know, describe it to you. Or if you ask yourself, how is the best way to travel from here to Japan, let's say, or how long does it take, then with a plane of this size or this kind of an engine, then you go into uh, figuring out, calculating. But if it's something so familiar to you, like your name, if somebody asks you, what's your name? You quickly say, where you come from? You quickly say, there's no thinking process there. There's no figuring out, it's just there. But when there is something that needs a calculations, it's a little involved, such as some of the examples that we talked about, like how do you get to Mars, <laughs> and then you start processing, calculating, based on certain knowledge and physics and so on that you know about, and your brain, your mind starts into the process of figuring something out. There was a question posed to it, which it didn't know the answer. So now it's going to find out. So from the time that some question is posed to the time that you figure out the answer, however it is, whether it's sports, uh, science, or whatever it is, there's a time interval, a time elapses. That is the time where thinking is happening in order to discover that answer. So from the question when it's posed to when you find the answer, that's a thinking. Now, how do we stop thinking? Well, in the past videos, which in, on this channel we have over a thousand videos on different topics, but they all have the roots of what is thought and consciousness, fear and desire and ego, and what is, does it have to do with our psyche? We all talk about how our mind functions. What's the movement of mind? So we've discussed in the past how to stop thinking, which is try to get a thought out of the consciousness and when thought is no longer roaming around in the field of the known in the consciousness then there is no thinking because the thought is out of the consciousness and consciousness is where you know everything that is there is to know in your level about you and about things for you and therefore that is where your resource and inventory of your information is that's where you look for things but when you take your thoughts out of consciousness, there are no thinkings. And we discussed that how to do that, and one way was, uh, there were many way, different ways that we discussed, but one way was meditation and so on and so forth. Now today, I want to bring your attention to something, something simpler way. 
in continuation of what we were just talking about, about a thought and thinking, so from the time that a question is posed to the time that you're finding the answer, your mind enters into a process of thinking, figuring it out, calculating, and so on and so forth. And that's time interval, interval is called a thinking. The mind is involved. But when you actually find no answer, or you know right off the bat that you have no knowledge of this, you have no answer to this. You just don't know. And you're definitely sure about it. It's not about that you're waiting for somebody to bring an answer or you're waiting to watch something or read something to figure it out. You're waiting to think about it. None of that. You definitely know you don't know. When you are convinced and you announce it in, inwardly that you don't know or you say, I don't know, that's when there is no process of thinking. Uh, thinking stops. When you don't know, a thought has no mandate. Brain has no mandate. Mind is not searching. When that search is definitely stops by you declaring it, thought stops. So try that. Whenever you don't really know about something, you know there's no process of thinking. So we'll talk about these sort of things more in next or future videos. In the meantime, be good to yourself and to the others, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.